In this specific video of QBasic programming, I will explain you <coughs> the program to input any number and display each digit separately. So we'll take input from user. User will enter any number that can be two digit number, three digit number, four digit or five digit or six digit. We want to display each digit of that given number separately. Let's assume that one, two, three. We need to display three separately, two separately, and one separately. So this is the program. So let's run this program. This is the program I have already wrote. I will explain you with the dry run process. Just wait for a few seconds. Let me show you the output first, and then we'll dry run the program. How it will execute with the dry run table. Okay, let's enter a number. Seven, four, five, six. As you can see, six is displayed separately here. Five is displayed, four and seven. So each digit is printed separately in the output screen. You can try out different number with different digit also. Look at here. So each digit is printed separately. Okay, so let's dry run this program. Now you can see here, I have already <coughs> made the dry run table. I can take a screenshot of this. Now I will just show you step by step once again. So let me delete this all things. Okay. So while making a dry run table, as you already know, I think if you have watched my previous video, there are few dry run programs already I have explained. So while making a dry run table, you need to write a variable name used in the program. So I have made the table and brought here dry run table. And in the program, how many variables are used? Variables are the container or memory location where value is stored. So in this case, we have n variable here. And then we have this a variable. So I have written here n. Then in the next column a then we have here loop while a not equals to zero so i have written here loop also because we need to display whether it is true or false and after that we have used here r that is the variable name another variable and a is already done and you can see here print whenever you see print in the program that means output print will display the data in the output screen so we need to write output and that's all okay now let's execute step by step Okay, so we are using here sub procedure. So declare sub, these are two keywords used to declare the sub procedure. And so this so is the name of the sub procedure. You can write series, so, digits, any name, your choice. And after that, we need one number. So I'm writing here n. Then CLS, I'm keeping here 123 for dry run because in dry run, we need to take some value and we can check whether this program will give correct result or not by taking one value initial value so i'm taking 123 so 123 is the value of n so i will keep here 123 in this column after that call so n this means we are calling this so sub procedure and we are passing the value of n that is 123 from here and when this line is executed it will go directly to the sub procedure where sub procedure definition is written here it is written so sub so in the bracket we have a so this a will receive the value of n because we are passing the value of n from here and the value passed by the variable n is received by a so value of n is 123 so value of a also 123 because we use this n variable to pass the value and a will receive that same value now while loop while a not equals to 0 <clears throat> value of a is what 123 so 123 not equals to zero. Condition true or false? It is true. Because 123 not equals to zero is true. When this condition loop condition is true, it will go inside the loop and inside the loop we have written here three line of code. So we use loop to repeatedly execute the same line of code or block of code. So this time we are going to execute three line of code repeatedly. And this is waned. Waned means end of the while loop. So inside the loop three lines are here. So let's execute first line r equals to a mod 10 value of a is what 123 123 mod 10 if you um, do any number mod 10 then it will give the last digit of that number so value of a is what 123 so last digit of 123 is what 3 so value of r will be 3 mod 10 will extract the last digit of the given number or you can simply divide and check you will get remainder and mod gives remainder the simple formula is mod 10 will extract the last digit after that print r print r means 
print the value of r value of r is 3 so print means we need to write in output column so i have printed 3 okay so a equals to a integer division 10 now again any number integer division 10 this symbol is integer division any number integer division 10 means it will remove the last digit of the given number okay so from a we'll remove the last digit that is 3 so remaining value will be 1 2 so we where we are storing that 1 2 it we are storing or assigning in a so that means value of a will be 1 2 now because we remove the last digit from this 1 2 3 okay now when when means end of the while loop but before it end it will go back to the while loop again here and check the condition okay now i'll it should be a here not n because we are using a variable here so a not equals to 0 value of a is 1 2 1 2 not equals to 0 that means again 1 2 is not equals to 0 true when is it true it will execute this line again so r equals to n mod 10 first line n mod 10 means sorry a mod 10 value of a is 12 <coughs> 12 mod 10 means it will extract the last digit so from 12 last digit is 2 fine then after that print r value of r is 2 so we have printed the value of 2 in the output screen then after that a equals to a integer division 10 value of a is what value of a is 12 and integer division will remove the last digit if we remove 2 from 1 2 then it will be 1 1 only so because we remove the 2 then left is 1 <coughs> then when when means end of the while loop but before it end it will go back to the while loop and check the condition so while checking a condition now a value is 1 not equals to 0 again this is what true so this is also true when this is true it will go inside the loop so r equals to a mod 10 this will extract the last digit whether you can say last digit or first digit we have only one digit so it will be the value of r then print r print r means one will be printed in the output screen a equals to integer division 10 so we need to remove the last digit only one digit we have if we remove that one also what will be the value of a that will be zero then again when when means it will check the while loop condition again zero not equals to okay, not here when then zero not equals to zero this is false because zero is equals to zero this condition is false while loop condition when this while loop one condition falls it will go just after when after when end sub is written here the sub procedure work is finished when this sub procedure work is finished the control will go back to the main module from where it is called from here it is called this line is done now next line is end so program is completed our output is 3 2 1 this is the dry run table and how this program work hope you understand this concept if you have any type of confusion question any other question you can just comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and share with your friends have a good day and see you in the next video